This is a quick overview of the steps needed to set up your student email account on a web browser. Before getting started, you may need your 10-digit student number, your portal password, a computer or some device that has Wi-Fi and has access to a web browser like Chrome, Edge, or Firefox, and then a phone to use as an authenticated source like a landline or a cell phone. If you already know your student email address, you can skip the next two screens and proceed to open Outlook and put in your new student email. Here's a summary of the steps we're going to be doing today. We're going to find the student email in your portal. We're going to open the Outlook program and we're going to sign in to student email. We're going to use your portal password for your account. We're going to set up multi-factor authentication using your phone. And then we're going to open your student email and set it to forward to your favorite email address. This will be an optional step. First, let's find your student email. Open any web browser, go to myportal.sdccd.edu, type in your 10-digit student number, and type in your portal password and sign in. Next, you'll see the student dashboard. Click on that. Next, you'll see many different headers look for the header that says student quick links if there's a plus next to it tap on the plus you'll then see a menu go to personal information and click on that a box will pop up you will see four tabs in that box select email addresses in the next screen you will see your student email address so write it down that is your student email address. Next, we're going to go to outlook.office.com and use that student email. So open that outlook.office.com in any web browser. The sign-in screen may look different. If your sign-in screen looks like this, then you would tap on Use Another Account. After you select that, you will see a screen that resembles this. If your screen looks like this when you first open up Outlook, just tap in your student email address and click Next. If your screen looks like this when you open up Outlook, you want to delete the address that's already in there, put in your student email address, and then select Next. Now you see the screen where it asks for your password. Use your portal password to, to, uh, in the screen and then click sign in. At this point, this screen will pop up. This is asking for more information. This is your multi-factor authentication. So select next. On the next screen, scroll below the big box and select I want to set up a different method and then at that point a window will open and on that window select phone on that same screen it will change to confirm and select confirm on the screen that follows you'll enter your phone number use this box to the right of the country code box I'm assuming everyone is in the United States. If you're not, if your phone is not in the United States, click on the down arrow and find your country, and then put in the area code and phone number, no hyphens or parentheses. You can choose whether you want to be texted or called. If you choose to use a landline as your author authorization, then you should click call, otherwise it doesn't matter, and then click next. Next, you'll see a screen that is where you're going to be entering your authentication code. So at this point, you will be texted or called, depending on what you asked for in the previous screen. If you're texted, you'll receive a six-digit code. Tap it in here. If you are called, then you'll probably be asked to click on the asterisk button on your phone. 
do that and follow the instructions there. When you're done with this, you'll be able to see next and then tap on that. In this screen, you're confirming that you do have a text verification. Click next. And on this screen, it's determining that your default sign in is your phone. Click done. Another screen will open up and it will ask you if you want to be, stay signed in. If you choose yes, then you won't have to authenticate as many times. If you choose no, then you'll probably have to authenticate often. If you don't want to see the screen again, you can click on don't show this again. Next, you'll see your inbox or your, your Outlook account with the inbox and all the different folders. Now, don't leave yet because in the next step, I'm going to show you how to forward your email to your favorite personal email address. So to do that, while you're in that student email, you want to find the all settings. So in order to do that, you will go to the top bar of the page and you'll look for the gear icon. This is the settings icon. You would tap on that. If you don't see all these icons, your screen is probably narrow, but you probably see three dots somewhere. Find those three dots and click on them. In both of these examples, you'll end up on the simple settings page, but we need to go to all Outlook settings. You'll have to scroll to the bottom. There might be other things here. Scroll to the bottom, type in or tap on view all Outlook settings. Now you'll see a screen where it says mail and then you'll scroll down to forwarding. If your screen is really narrow, you will probably see just layout on the top. So you'll have to click on the back arrow and find forwarding and then select that. Both of these options will take you to this page. On this box, you'll tap on enable forwarding. You'll put in your email address that you want to forward this Outlook account to. You can choose whether or not to keep the messages also on your Outlook account or if you don't check that, it means that those will be deleted after they're sent to you. And then you'll click Save. If you want to access your email in the future on the Outlook site, you would go to any web browser and type in outlook.office.com. You would enter your student email address and the portal password, and you may have to authenticate. You may also use the Outlook app on your phone or tablet and follow the same procedure. You have now completed the steps. You found your student email in your portal. You signed into your student email account in Outlook. You used the My Portal password for your student email account. You set up multi-factor authentication with your phone. And then you opened your student email and set it up to forward to your favorite email address. And that's it for this tutorial. Good luck. I hope that you're successful in setting up your email.